Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are practicing for the competitive exams that are coming like GATE and UGC NET. And here I am with another important question that is going to help in your exams. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about a GATE 2020 question on SQL queries. So as I told in my previous video that database, I saw many database questions in, a, uh, in the recent GATE 2020 question paper. Therefore, we are going to focus a bit on database. And here I am with a very important question. So let's see how we solve this. See, we are being given a relational database with three tables, which is uh, catalog, suppliers and parts, right? And we are being given a query. So the query is that uh, select s dot serial number that is s number comma s dot s name from suppliers s catalog c where s dot s number equals to c dot s number and cost is more than an inner query. So uh, I think I've already discussed about the inner queries and outer queries. If I'm not, I'll make a video on that or you can check on, in the playlist if there is a video on that. But over here, I'll just uh, focus on this that over here, this forms the inner query. Right. And this forms the outer query part still here okay so while solving a sql query you first of all solve the inner query part and then you check what is the outer query okay so now first of all we are going to check what is the inner query the inner query says select average cost from catalog where p number equals to p4 so p number basically part number is equals to p4 and where do I need to check it? I need to check it in the catalog table. Now, where is my catalog table? This is my catalog table, right? So in this, wherever is part four, right? Wherever is part four, there I need to see the cost. So this is part four. So only these two entries are for P4 and these are the corresponding costs. So I need to do the average of these so it is very simple 200 plus 250 divided by 2 which is 450 divided by 2 which is 225 so the average cost is 225 so what you are going to do basically is you are going to replace this entire thing with 225 is that clear okay so i'll make a bit clearer we are going to replace this entire thing with 225 then is the semicolon so now what does the outer query becomes the outer query is now select s dot serial numbers s dot s names from where suppliers s so from this supplier table i'm going to select the serial number and s name and note note that the ones which are underlined the underlined uh, attributes in these tables are the primary keys right which is a, a, a very well known you know uh, rule so uh, the same thing they are following over there uh, they have already specified this over here and then catalog c where s dot s number is equals to c dot s number now see this is a very important constraint over here what does this mean this means that we are only going to consider the suppliers which are present in both both the tables which are present in catalog as well as suppliers table okay so this is very important okay and the other thing is their cost the cost of the part which they are uh, supplying that should be more than 225 okay so now we are going to check this. So uh, in the suppliers table, I have only three suppliers, S1, S2, S3. In the catalog also, I have S1, S2, S3. Fine. Uh, so had there been any extra supplier over here in the catalog table, let's say S4, I would have not considered it. Okay. Then the cost should be more than 225. I'm going to check that which are the suppliers which are supplying uh, parts with cost more than 
225 okay so let me check uh cost more than 225 is this 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 and this so we have four rows over here right we have four rows and so what should be the output the output here is a uh, serial number s name serial number s name and that's it only serial number and s name are required right so if i see these four things over here these four things over here so uh, what will be printed ultimately it will be printed like s2 then the supplier name which is m/s balaji furniture okay then we have again s2 for this p5 thing okay for this p5 thing again with the same name so there you won't get this uh sign you will get the exact name balaji furniture and then third one is this s3 ms premium furniture and again s3 ms premium furniture now some of you might have a doubt over here in the concept that there are only two uh, distinct records over here then why we have we printed it four times right some of you might have a doubt over here so my answer to that is my answer to that is there is no distinct clause over here right there is no distinct clause over here if it would have been over here then we would have printed only two rows but since there is no distinct thing over here we will output the attributes corresponding to the matching rows now if you just think clearly about it the condition over here was this this was the condition so and when we say select this and this from this and this we are basically creating a join over here we are basically creating a join over here with the condition with the condition what that s dot s number equals to c dot s number this is the joining condition so we have basically created a join of catalog and supplier table and out of that we have selected the records which are satisfying this condition which are satisfying the condition that cost is more than 225 so now basically there were four rows which were satisfying this condition which were those four rows now they were these 1 2 3 4 but from these four rows the query required us to print only these two attributes s number and s name therefore we printed only s number and s name for for these results but the entire row values were different right because the row values are different why because for these four rows the part numbers and the cost are different though they are not asking us that in the query and since they were not asking us that in the query we have not printed it right but let's suppose they would have written a distinct clause over here then we would have only printed this s2 and this s3 only once right so is this question clear because this is a very important question if you think which are the various possibilities in which they could have asked some other things from it right and you could easily get confused if you would have just thought it to print only the distinct rows right but you need to think in terms of in terms of how you solve the basic sql query 
how the computer is getting the results how the database is filtering the results on the basis of conditions and once you think in that manner you're always going to get a correct answer so we are done with this particular question and we are done with this session and so uh, again i'm going to tell you all to practice more and more as the exams are approaching and i'm going to be back again with some other important questions from recent gate exams so that you practice well you get some challenging questions over here you practice them and you develop some confidence and one more important thing guys please when you are practicing any mock session when you are practicing any gate questions any ugc net questions please practice them with a timer because this helps you to develop confidence this helps you to reduce the stress that you'll face over there in the exam when you'll have a limited time thing solving the questions okay so uh, that's all for this session thank you all thank you all for viewing my video if you like it please uh, like the video subscribe to my channel if you are the one who is viewing it for the first time or you have not subscribed it uh, till now and uh, give your please give your useful feedback to improve the videos in the manner you think they can be and uh, so i'm going to back i'm going to be back again till then stay tuned keep learning keep practicing thank you very much